Hi everyone, it's Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. Today I'm continuing my coloring book collection series with my smaller format books and we all know what those are. The reason I put them on top of my shelf um, to the right is because when you put them in with all the bigger books they tend to be awkward on the shelf so I try to group them all together because they fit better that way in my humble opinion. <clears throat> So we're going to have some mixed, you know, like, there are some Christmas, there's there's a lot of things, and a cat who is not useful in this endeavor. <laughs> um, I'm trying to break him of jumping up on my desk, and it's really hard. So, uh, first off, I have my Sally Berry slash Adriana Lay uh, Advent Calendar Series. Um, Sally Berry became Coloring United and um, has several artists. The most prolific one is Adriana Lay. So I have all of these advent calendars. They're six by nine in size, <clears throat> six by nine inches. This one I have done none of, you can see. <clears throat> uh, this was volume two. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I've done several pictures in here. I have not completed any of them. So I've done this one and this one. They're just like a short, small, quick color. And I did the candy cane and the cupcake. And then this one, which went horribly wrong. I think that's all I've done. This one was fun. They're all different. Uh, the cupcake edition, which I've done a few in. It's it's it was cool too, but for me a little weird. Uh, that's a whip, so I need to mark it. I never, I just couldn't get into the cupcakes. I did this one. I don't know why. I don't like color. I'm not big on coloring food. So I may not keep that one. <clears throat> and then the Adriana Lay came out with um, Soxmas, which was so much fun. I didn't expect it to be. I didn't finish it. I seem to never be able to finish an advent calendar. Um, but I did get several done. This one was my favorite. And I just played around with them. Oh, I didn't get that. How did I not do the first one? Oh, it was probably because I'm, as always, I'm doing catch up, playing catch up on my advent calendars. <laughs> Next, I have Birds and Fleurs uh, by Jen Racine, which came out in 2020. I believe. It's one of her more recent books. Yes, yeah, 2023. And it's a small book um, with birds and flowers. And it's very, it's pretty uh, simple, easy. It would be a quick, if you like flowers and you like birds, I thought it would help me with my bird coloring. Uh, next, I have this one. Classic coloring, obviously. I got it at Ollie's with the horrid Ollie's sticker. Um, I have seen a few people have this. It's small. Uh, six by six by eight. So, um, and this one has the binding where you can take the pages out. Um, I have done one in here, and it is not in this book. Um, it's all the classic plates from Alice in Wonderland. I am not a fan of Alice in Wonderland um, for a lot of different reasons. <laughs> Just not my thing, but my father-in-law is, and I picked this up to color pictures for him, so I colored the, it was a rabbit picture. I have a picture of it in my phone, actually. If I can find it, I'll stick it here. Um, 
I pull them out and I give them to him because <laughs> he likes it when I color things for him. So <clears throat> I don't keep them. Apologize. The the allergies are real today. So I have these. Um, I hesitate to show them because you can't really get them. They were in the Deborah Muller Dragon Box. Although she may publish them someday or put them on Etsy. I'm sure she must have these pictures somewhere. Um, but this is Fairy Scapes. So you get a lot of little different things in the in her boxes when you buy them. She sells them on Etsy. She posts in her um, Facebook group when she's going to be selling them. They're usually around $50 thereabouts. This is the only one I've ever bought. And she puts little books in there and watercolors and a bag. And it's it's a cute little thing. And then she had the dragonettes. But of course I wanted the dragon one. And it has cute little dragons that I definitely need to color. So on decent paper. She prints them herself, I think. <clears throat> Sorry, the allergies are real today and I have a lot of drainage. It's just annoying me. Um, Enchanting Gnomes by Jim Shore. Um, he does figurines and pretty things and these are example pages. This book's been around for a couple years. I can't remember when it came out. Um, gosh, it's probably in the back. Yeah. But I did one in here. And there is a flip through on my channel. Oh, this one. And I left it half done on purpose. The B one. Was a buddy color with a friend ever uh, who no longer has a channel or is on Instagram, as far as I know. They pop up from time to time, and uh, it was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, I loved the paper, is interesting in this book. And she, um, he has an angel one. And another one. I think there's two other ones. And he has some regular coloring books, but that's all I have right now. Um, I have Viva La Color Hearts coloring book. As advertised, this is a bunch of hearts. And it is a small square book. You can, you can still get this. As far as I know, um, it's floating around out there. It came out in 2016. Okay. And then I have We Wish You a Merry Christmas, which is another small book. This one is 6 by 8 also. And it has the same type of binding, where it's glued but not bound to the spine. Um, and I think, I can't remember where I got this. I probably got this at Ollie's also years ago. I really wanted, it's got really intricate lines, so I wanted to use fine liners on it. Oh, I started. Oh, I guess I have a whip in here. I need to finish it. I think I was using watercolor pencils. Uh, so this book came out in 2016 also. Uh, it has a nice binding up. Ollie's. But you can still get it. I've, I've seen it on Amazon. I think you can still get it. And then I have... Small Victories, Johanna Basford. I think this one's even smaller than 6 by It's a little bit... No, it's about the same. 6 by 8 just seems different. Uh, this is her newest one. 
and I have seen so many people do fun pictures in here. Um, this is sort of a whip, but I'm using it for testing in my pencil videos, so it's kind of not the same thing. Otherwise, I haven't done any pictures in there. See, that's all those. Next, I have a group of Pictura coloring um, panoramas, I guess is what these are called. So uh, various artists do these, and I have collected a couple. Um, they're hard to get a hold of anymore. Um, I, think I, I think I got all of mine. Well, no, I didn't get them all from all. I got most of them, all but one from Ollie's. Uh, so I got Coloring Paris. This is by Thomas Love Tomic. And you fold it out. Uh, well, it's... Let's see if I can figure out how you do it. There it goes. So, you, so it becomes one big long picture when you're done. Ta-da! <laughs> It all folds up in the... Now sometimes the back sides have interesting things. And they're all a little bit different. Uh, this one tells you about the Sacre Coeur, uh, l'Arc de Triomphe, the Champs Elysees, the Louvre, uh, Grand Palais, Tour Eiffel, Il a Cité or Notre Dame. So yeah, very, very cool. Uh, this is fun. You can still get them if you if you pay attention, you can get them, I guess it doesn't go like that, uh, on eBay or Amazon, sometimes they show up. Um, but they're not in print anymore. Like, when was this printed in, tell me anywhere, I've never looked. Oh, goodness. It should sell right here. 2013. So, and they're they're easier to get a hold of in, in the UK than they are here in the United States. Because <laughs> they were printed in the UK. Uh, the next one I have is Nature. Uh, this one's by Helen Ward. And you will see they all have very different art styles. So... Pull it out if I can get a hold of it so that you can see it like this. I think that's the easiest way to do it. I like nature. There's a lot of them that I like, but I'm not willing to pay the prices that they <laughs> here. It goes through the seasons, it tells you about the animals. It's that's very cool. These are very interesting little books that they've come up with. And here's, it shows you different ones. Uh, dragons, fairies, Paris, nature, knights, medieval, uh, New York, and London. New York jazz. Uh, I have knights also, which is by Annie Von Gilbert. Gilbert can't talk today. So it's medieval knights. Kind of like King Arthur. Very, very cool. But this intimidates me, I will say. <laughs> on the back, oh, what do we have on the back of this one? talks about um, an introduction. Oh, the things in the picture, like a shield, destrier, a lance, <clears throat> a hunting dog, and um, a little bit about them. And then I think that's so you can learn how to draw these things. Like I said, they're all a little bit different. This one came out in uh, 2013. When did nature come out? <clears throat> 2013. And then I actually have two copies of dragons because 
I was afraid I would mess mess it up. <laughs> I have very few things I have two copies of. Uh, this one's by John Howe from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies. Wonderful artist. This one came out in was it 2013 also. Yeah, 2013. I didn't realize they all came out the same year. And this one is just lovely. I wish I had more of them. I don't like them all, but, um, you know, there's a few more I would like. I think this one's supposed to teach you how to draw, draw a dragon. <laughs> So there's a giant dragon on the back and then the space to, to draw one. <laughs> so since it was at Ollie's and it was so cheap, I decided, and you have to have map folding skills to get it back. <laughs> there we go. So there's the pictures that I have. Next, we have my Lulu Mile collection. And, well, let's do the odd band out first. Um, where is it? I know it's in here. There it is. The one that looks like a Lulu Mayo book, but is not. Uh, a Million Christmas Cats, a Festive, Feline, Festive Felines to Color by John Bigwood. Um, this one is very popular out there. It is very cute. Uh every year I want to color in it and I have no time to color at Christmas or practically any other time of the year. I was going to do this one. I thought that I did, but I guess I didn't. So there's that. A million Christmas Cats. Now I have my Lulu Mayo collection. So I have a million cats. This one I'm using as a tester for my colored pencils. When I do my videos. It's not one of my favorites. As much as I love cats, uh, this one is not one of my favorites because I don't enjoy this style of animal um, or cat or anything else. <laughs> I'm weird. I know. Um, a million mermaids. I almost got rid of a million cats, but I figured if I did, I'd regret it. So, um, this is a million mermaids. I almost have one done in here. Almost. I gotta come back to it. So there's that. There's a whip. Uh, I have a million baby animals, which is one of our newest ones. Very cute. It has nothing done in it. These books were very hard for me to get started in because they're double-sided, but I did do a couple. <laughs> uh, this is a, mil a Million Little Monsters. Like I said, I have no time to color, so I've got to do something about that. Um, but I love books. I want to do all of this stuff. A million Sea Creatures, not another untouched book. Partly why I'm starting to pare down some of my books. Because um, I don't have a lot of time to color. A million cute animals, which is just a fabulously adorable. I did do this one. Look at that. That may be the only Lulu Mayo picture I have finished. <laughs> May, may not. I can't remember. Oh, it isn't. It is not. A Million Owls. Because I have this one that was a buddy color with um, Jody, J.I. Colorist. It was fun. She inspires me <laughs> so much. So that, that, that may be all the pictures I have done. I don't know. Uh, a million llamas. Because to be honest, this is not my style of art. Um, 
I am not a kawaii kind of person, but I did grow to love her books and her style, and that's why I have so many. <laughs> a million unicorns. But, um, like, I don't love the unicorns. I just don't like the style of unicorn. <laughs> but I, I do find it fun to color, and I have a lot of games that... Um, that have this style of unicorn in them. So I did this one. I don't remember what I did that with. It was a buddy color with somebody, but it was way before I um, started writing things down. No, I don't remember who it was. I guess I surprised myself. A million magical creatures. I know I haven't touched this. I wanted this one to come out so bad and I haven't touched it because there's dragons. Magical creatures. And then a million kawaii cuties, which has nothing done in it. See above under no time to color. <laughs> and a million sloths. I think the only one I don't, the only ones I don't have are a million bears and a million dogs. And I don't really want the dog one, even though I love dogs. I, I look for it, so eventually sometime I might get it. These are so cute. So that's all of my Lulu Mayo books. Next I have a series of four that I collected, the Escape 2 series. So I've escaped a Christmas past from Good Wives and Warriors, and I believe that I thought these were out of print, and I, I think I was wrong. Uh, I don't know why. It was probably because I was looking at so many different types of books and things. And I did buy these on eBay, to be fair. And the Christmas one is gorgeous. And this is a used book, so it does have a little coloring in it. I did not do that. I think that's the first time I noticed it. I didn't think it did. So this one came out... In. And these are really small. Um, let's see. Um, looking for the published date. Oh, here it is. Uh, 2015. So it has been out for a while. Seven by, it was like seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter is how big they are. So this one's gorgeous. Um, I did, did I get all of them on eBay? I think I did get all of them on eBay. One of them I might have ordered from Amazon. Uh, and the paper is very different in this one. This one is has off-white paper or cream paper. Um, I think... Okay, so all of them do, except Escape to Oz has white paper it looks like so it's the odd man out um so i have escape to oz and good wives and warriors this one so i let the landscapers go by uh was published in 2016 and it is fun this is just an example of how you grow in your art love because I am not the biggest fan of the Wizard of Oz either. <laughs> However, <laughs> I do like some of the art that is associated with it. Escape to Shakespeare's World, coloring book adventure by Good Wives and Warriors, and this one came out in 2016 also. And it is, I just had it's just these books, the art in these books is just lovely. I just love the art in these. So I haven't had them very long. I, I just picked them up. I was wondering if it said who the artist is. If I can read it without putting my reading glasses on. I don't think it says. And then the last one 
uh, is Escape to Wonderland. <laughs> As I said, I may not be a fan, but I do like the art. Like, I think I've only had these for a few months, a couple months. Because I, I, I saw them and then I discovered them again. 2015, so this one's even older. But I got some really, really nice ones, even though they're all used. Uh, these are two of my Ursula Schwab books. <clears throat> she unfortunately publishes unconsistently. <laughs> And the other ones are bigger, so I have these up top, and then I have her a couple others from her um, in a, on another shelf, just because they were just too big to put on the small format. Uh, but this one is uh, Vogel, and, Vogel, Vogel und Schmetterling, which is birds and butterflies. Vogel? Yeah. Schmetterling is the German word for butterfly, which is funny. And this is a gorgeous book. Just love it. I've been getting rid of a lot of my Amazon printed books because I don't... I'm not a paper snob, but... I, there's some, some of the papers I really don't like. This is Cottage Dreams. I don't even have to translate that. This is really cute cute book i really liked it she i like her art style ursula Schwab. ursula schwab but now that book depository is out of business it's hard to get her books I'll put my tea over there <clears throat> next next are all of my rita bermans and then that will be it for this shelf so de welt unter der lupe Oh, De Welt unter der Lupe Zuland. My German sucks, FYI. <laughs> because mostly because I took French in college and it mucks around with my German. So I still, you know how long I have been working on this and I still haven't finished it and I need to. This was a color along with um, oh, what's her name? She does all kinds of stuff like this, and I cannot think of her name right now, her channel. Um, I'll see if I can put it on the screen, if I can figure out how to do that. Um, yeah, and I still haven't finished. It was all done with, um, Sergeant Art Premium Colored Pencils, the 72 set, and they are, it was really fun. I loved doing this. And uh, here's another one. <laughs> because, and the reason this one isn't finished is because I can't decide what color to make the lines and I'm terrified. I am gonna mess it up. I will pick a color and then I won't like it. So I'm taking suggestions. I was gonna go with black and, and black may be what I do because that's the only thing I can see, but I just don't know, and I'm so happy with it, I'm terrified of ruining it. <laughs> That's why it's not done. Uh, but I love that book. Mein uh, Reise durch Essien. Like I said, my German really sucks. I love this book. I haven't touched it, because barely, again, see above, under, no time to color. <laughs> Uh, this is in here because these are the color palettes because I was working on something. Um, and I need to fold it is what I need to do so that it fits better. Uh, mein Winter Speisergang. A smellen and der Schatten. Sch der Schatten. Uh, my Winter Walk. Oh, I know this, and I can't think of what it translates to at the moment. So I was doing, I started this one um, with Shapiro Farben. I was going to do it. I was playing around with my, because I have inks, uh, Distress inks, and I don't use them because I suck at using them, and I 
I was doing it. I looked at a picture and I'm like, I'm going to do it. And then I never finished it. Uh, I think because I ran out of time. But this book is phenomenally beautiful. I have seen so many nice pictures in it. And I've got to start myself a Rita Berman time, set time away for Rita Berman. My summer, mine summer Spicegang, which is my summer walk, I believe. I don't think I've done anything here, but there may be a whip. So I have had this book for a long time. Oh no, I finished one. Look at that. Okay, look what I did. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. This one I really want to do, but I have seen so many people do it and it's so beautiful that I, I don't know. My foilings, mine foilings, um, which is spring, walk, walk. It's not, I don't think it, it directly means walk, but it is, um, I think that's the closest thing that we can get to. I don't know. No German. Not a German expert here. I really want to do. I love this spring book. Of all her books. I did do this one. I knew that. I love how it came out. Um, and then I started doing this one because I... But for some reason, I was having trouble with the pencils or something. And it was just so blech that I didn't finish it and I need to so there's that I have I do have all of Rita Berman's that are currently out uh mine Erbst Spazer Gang uh fall autumn walk and it's beautiful and I'm ashamed that I don't have more done I do at least have a picture that I started, and every once in a while I come back to it, and one of these days I'll finish it. <laughs> oh, I should have marked it. Darn. Because I need to remember that I have it in here. And then my Risa de Chiropa which should be, oh, I guess my page got crumpled. That'll be okay. No worries. Nothing to be upset about. We'll just flatten it out. It'll be fine. And my Narissa Direct Africa. Which is very pretty. Um... This is the page I was going to do, but eh. well, maybe later. The Welt unter der Lupe zu Wasser. 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 The W is like a V. Water. Under the water. Unter, un, unter der Lupe zu Wasser. But I don't, mm, I can't remember what that means exactly. I really, I have had this book out so many times to do pictures in it and then ran out of time. Story of my life, but we're working on it. I say that all the time, but I'm happy with what I do. I just want to do more. Like, I just want to do so much in those books. Anyway, so that is all of my smaller format books. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope you saw something. I'm sorry you didn't see more completed pages. And we will see you at the next shelf. Bye.